Sorry about my kitchen table. It's kind of a wreck right now. I'm just uh, showing a couple of great ideas uh, to do with this stuff. Great stuff. Gap, crack, filler. Uh, it's insulation. Um, I made some creepy heads for our Halloween graveyard this year. Uh, I formed it in a blob. Well, this one I made out of just a blob. And then I made it kind of like a burn victim. I uh, did the teeth with wood glue. I put a couple of blobs on some paper, let it dry, and then I cut it out with uh, an X-Acto knife and stuck them in the head. The eyeballs are from a dollar store, and there was about six of them in one package, so six eyeballs for a buck. I cut that one. And then this head, um, as well as this head, I sprayed the insulation into a cheap dollar store mask, and it comes out basically a blob but um, it's a little bit easier, I guess, to get an idea of what kind of face you're going to want to carve. Um, I used, in the mouth, I took some skewers and cut the tips off of them and put them up in the mouth. As well as this one, what I did with the witch's face, I used paper towel on the witch's head and um, some cheesecloth. Everything really, really cheap. One can makes one head. Um, each can is four dollars and like thirty five cents so for about sixteen bucks, I made all of these heads. I used some old extensions that I had of hair pieces and cut them and shoved them in his head. I also just started with this now this is the insulation what it's going to look like when it is first sprayed and it I leave it outside to dry um but I made a burned body i guess torso, and I took some um I took some uh, just cheap twine and I painted it blue and purple and red and shoved it up in the arm. Um, but that's it. You can make some really neat things with uh, not a lot of money. And we're going to have a great graveyard this year. And uh, I will take a video of that when we set it up. All right. Have fun decorating for Halloween.